to travel now and I can't help but think how refreshed and relaxed you seem Debbie. Oh. Like quite zen. Yes, I am. Funny you say that. I went to Queenstown, I've just got back recently and I was expecting loads of the adrenaline, you know, those activities yeah. that you think of when you think of Queenstown. But instead I got to try some lovely deep breathing. So take a look. Yes, I know, it is the adventure capital of New Zealand. But if you don't feel like jumping off a perfectly great bridge or screaming your way down a river, it's also a great place to unwind. With this world famous backdrop, it's no wonder Queenstown welcomed nearly three million visitors last year, a million of those Kiwis. The shores of Lake Wakatipu, the perfect place for meditation or yoga. Join a local class or sign up for a wellness retreat. So what we do now is we draw people here for um, wellness weekends and five day long uh, journeys, also half day and one day journeys where it's really about going inwards and reconnecting with yourself and um, reconnecting with what's important to you and rather than that how most of us are in our heads, busy, 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 thinking, 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 <clears throat> taking that journey from the thinking mind and actually becoming embodied through yoga, through mindful walks, through what we often talk about this nature as being our spirituality, um, connecting in with nature and actually um, rediscovering what your soul is longing for you to, to be and do while you're here. If uh, in family life as a mother, if they're uh, working in a corporate world and their life is frenzied and busy, whatever sort of walk of life they're coming from, that they get the chance to go back inwards and actually take that time to breathe, to really connect into what their, their sense of purpose is in life, so that there's that, that connection and that meaning. Um, because I think we can get caught into that rush, as Amanda was saying, of the, the busyness of life and it can sort of sweep us up and, and remove us from our, from our realness. But what we get to do um, with these people who come along is um, nurture them along and through the conversations and lots of space and time to listen, um, that's kind of often when the light bulbs go on. Queenstown itself is enough to hit the refresh button. You know, just to be able to breathe the fresh air, to look out into that expanse of scenery and just realise what we're part of here. Um, and that in itself is, is huge. On taking that advice and hopping on a bike, this area boasts 120 kilometres of shared pathways for walkers and cyclists. As everyone rides the trail for a different opportunity. Um, for me, I love the suspension bridges because they add a little bit of drama to the whole thing, don't they? And it's not until you're on the bridge and it's having a little bit of a shake and you're looking down at the river that you actually get quite excited. I know you know that. Um, but you know what, for some people, when we designed the trail network here in Queenstown, we were quite careful. Um, and what we did is we designed it to be quite different and to deliver some wonderful different benefits to people. So say for example, you and I could take off right now, probably cycle for about maybe 10 minutes, find the most beautiful picnic spot with amazing photography opportunities and just stay there for as long as we wanted, then maybe pick up our bikes, go a bit further, enjoy a restaurant, maybe some art galleries. Back at the centrally located Crown Plaza, have an upmarket meal and drinks at their in-house restaurant and bar, 360, or book an in-room massage and watch other people's holiday adventures from your balcony overlooking that beautiful lake. Wow, what a great location for yoga. Yeah, and Soul Journeys actually has some mini and weekend retreats coming up and a seven day long Bali retreat that you could go. I know, wouldn't that be amazing? So they have, of course, the yoga sessions every day, surfing lessons as part of that, and you get loads of free time to go and see the local Balinese culture as well. And that is just such a magnificent country as well. Yeah. Um, I like the look of the idea of rel uh, relaxing in that luxurious hotel room too. It was really beautiful. I mean, they have this amazing bed a comfy bed, about three or four different types of pillows you could choose from. So they're all into getting a really good night's sleep there. They even have um, a little sleep mist that you can spray in the room so this aromatherapy surrounds you. Wow. I really enjoyed Crown Plaza, it was great. And pillows are really important. Yeah, That's they a are. really nice thing to offer. Yeah. Well, great. I really like that. I have to go and just try it out. Now, for more information and help planning your next trip to Queenstown, visit their website, queenstownnz.co.nz.